Hey, welcome again, friends. And uh, we are discussing factorization techniques for algebraic expressions. In this session, we are going to understand uh, if there is an expression given in this form, a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc, then, dear friends, you can factorize it like a plus b plus c. And then, another factor is a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. We understood the proof for this in the identities chapter. Now we are going to implement it. So let's say you have been given an expression where it is a cube minus 8b cube minus 64c cube and minus 24a, b and c. Okay, so first of all, reduce it into complete cube. So this is a cube, you cannot simplify further. Minus 8b cube could be written as 2b to the power 3 minus 4c to the power 3 correct and this can be written as minus 24 can be written as uh, 3 into a into 2b into 4c isn't it so now we are reducing into that form also the same thing can be written as a cube plus minus 2b whole cube because minus 2b whole cube is minus 2b cube minus 2b whole cube and minus instead of minus write plus and then take the minus sign inside the bracket so this remains the same nothing changes minus 3 into a into minus 2b into minus 4c right so nothing goes or nothing changes so hence this looks familiar expression now what is this this one so can i not factorize it very easily what will that be so this will be a minus 2b minus 4c a plus b plus c then a square is simply a square and then b square in this case will be plus minus 2b whole squared c will be minus 4c whole squared c square and then minus a b is what a into minus 2b right and then here what do i write i write minus 2b into minus 4c and then what next uh, minus 4c into a this is how it would appear okay so this becomes simply a minus 2b minus 4c then becomes a square and this becomes plus 4b square and minus 4 whole square is 16c squared isn't it this one and then plus there are two negative signs everywhere so uh, minus Mm, okay and there was these minus signs also guys so i have left that so please be careful okay so minus a into minus 2b is plus 2ab then there are three minus so it becomes minus and four to the eight bc and this is plus four c a okay so hence a minus 2b minus 4c a square plus 4b square plus 16c square 2ab minus 8bc plus 4ca these are the two factor factor number one factor number two you cannot reduce it further that's what we learned here okay now let's take up one more example so for example the question is factorize 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 what a cubed minus b cubed plus one plus three ab okay the moment you see that four terms one thing is you know whether we can reduce it into a cube of a binomial but here it appears that since three is only in one term in cube of a binomial you will see through two fact two terms where three is available here it is not so hence the other way which we we have just learned we will be implementing that so it can be very easily written or seen as a cube plus minus b cube plus one cube isn't it three cubes are there so i should get the you know uh the three ab part also from there so hence can i not write this as minus three into a into minus b into one isn't it so now it becomes a cube minus b cube plus c cube minus three abc isn't it so hence what will that be so it will become now we know the expansion so a minus b plus 1 that is a plus b plus c form and then a square that is a square plus b square so this will be minus b square plus 1 square then minus a b so a times minus b 
minus BC, so minus B times 1 and minus CA, so 1 times A, right? This is the two factors, right? So this will become A minus B plus 1 times A square plus B square because minus B square is equal to B square plus 1 minus and this minus and this minus becomes plus A, so plus AB, then plus B and then minus A. Okay, so hence you can rearrange them and write rearrange the terms and write it in a you know uh, arranged manner a square plus b square plus a b all the square terms first higher terms first then linear terms so minus a plus b and then plus one so these are the two factors of the given expression right so what is the learning learning is there are you know three terms which can be reduced into cubes and there's a three abc type term then you can use this identity to factorize them.